Hey everybody and welcome to Zero Calvin. So some time ago I made a video called Creating Morphs for Accessories in Character Creator 4 and a couple days ago somebody commented and they said thank you sir and do you know how to create morphs of animals? Um, I think I do know how to create morphs for animals. Um, it's quite different than that video as far as creating uh, morphs for accessories. Uh, number one, morphs for animals you can't really do through Character Creator 4, as far as I know. Uh, we're going to do it through iClone 8, uh, which is fine because that's probably where you're going to use it anyway, right? So this is how you're going to do it. Um, you click on your animal over on the an Modify and then Animation tab here. You notice you have uh, Morph Animator and Morph Creator. So Morph Animator is blank right now. We don't have any morphs for this guy. So we're going to create one. So you use Morph Creator. And it pops open a secondary program called Morph Creator. And it'll load our little dinosaur guy into it. Okay. Notice we have kind of like a, a little tree here. Um, we're just going to leave the, our animal selected. We need to export him out so that we can modify him in Blender and then bring that modification back in as a morph. Um, so you're going to go to File, Export OBJ, and we're just going to go Export Selected with this guy selected. Uh, we don't need the textures, just leave Y up. Just export it somewhere where you know where to find it. And then load up Blender. Delete Mr. Cube. Now we're going to go to Import. Wave for an OBJ, and we're going to select the, uh, the OBJ we just exported. Before you click import, though, you want the, this option selected, vertex groups. You have to have that, or else the vertices will get scrambled on import and export, and it, uh, it's not a pretty thing. So make sure that's selected. Okay, so there's our guy. He's a big old dude. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to use Blender. Okay. Um, let's create a morph. Let's make his chest expand, I guess. It's as good as anything, right? So we're going to tab, go into edit. Use uh, whatever the hell that's called again. Going to just do G. I guess it's proportional editing is what that's called. So we're just going to do G and just expand that out, I guess. Uh, actually, let's get, grab a little bit more. Nope. Um, connected only. All right. Doesn't really matter, but okay. So there's our morph. So now we go save it back out. So export, wavefront OBJ. Again, make sure vertex groups is selected. Give the morph a name that you understand. Export it out. Bounce back over to Morph Creator, click on this plus here to create the morph. You can also go File, Import Morph Target, does the same thing. Load up your morph. Again, leave Y up and don't worry about the textures. Load it in, okay, and he, if all goes well, you won't get any errors. And he'll look the same. But now you'll see we have Dino Chest Expand. And when we select it, boop, there's our morph. Easy peasy. So now you can make him breathe. Okay. Now, to put him back into iClone, or actually just to send this morph back into iClone, use Update Morph to iClone. Okay, you don't really want to do this one because this is going to send this whole creature and replace this creature with the one that's in iClone. You don't really need to do that. It's a little 
too excessive. Um, really, you just need to send the morphs. So just update morphs. Um, I got an error. Let me try this one more time. Update morphs. Okay. Please select morph object parent node. Morph slider update has failed. Uh -huh. That's weird. Has something to do with the naming and stuff. All right, let's do the, um, let's do this other one then. We'll send and replace it. Okay. So that actually just made another one. That's our original, because I had an animation set on him. This is the one we just brought in. Um, let's see if he has his morph animator. He does, okay. Cool, okay. So it does look like, for whatever reason, uh, we had to just send the whole character back into there. I'm gonna get rid of our original guy. Let's try another morph real quick. So let's go back into Blender. We're gonna undo the morph we did before and we're gonna do another morph. Let's do something silly like, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll curl his tail around or something. Or try to. So I think we might be able to do that in the sculpt mode. Um, pose. There we go. Go back into object mode. So he's selected. We're going to export that back out. Wave for an OBJ. Do you know tail curl vertex groups is selected? Go back into here, add Dino tail curl. So it's a, a bit weird because we used um, Morph, but I mean, we used, uh, yeah, it's a bit janky, but you get the idea. And we still got chest expansion going on. Okay. Now let's just try update Morph again. Um, this guy is selected. Update Morph. Hmm. That's weird. So that works on characters, but apparently for some reason it's not doesn't work on animals. But we can do the send and replace. It's just making another one of him. So this guy. Has both morphs in him. Tail curl and chest expand. And this guy only has the one. We're going to get rid of him. So he has both. So that's cool. Um, so it looks like you have to send it over each time and replace it, which is kind of weird. So you want to load up all your morphs ahead of time. What I would actually do is take this guy from Morph Creator. When he has all the morphs loaded in him, I would go to File and save it. It'll save it as an, as an iAvatar somewhere. Um, and if you ever want to add more morphs to him, you can load up that I avatar. So you can go to file open here and load up that I avatar file and it'll load up this guy with all the morphs in there already. Um, then that way, if you need to add a couple more, you can add it in and then send, re send replace over into iClone. So that would be the, the workflow I would use here. 
So anyway, that's my answer. Yes, you can do morphs. Um, can't do them through Character Creator. Do them through iClone Morph Creator. So that's it. Hope this helped. Talk to you guys later. Cheers.